Hi. Okay. So I wanted to jump on real quick and give a explanation of the family healing add-on that was available for this month's Shine Your Soul session. The family healing is really useful because not only have we cleared your energy, but also your mother and your father. What you'll notice is the first part of each person has the core soul wounding energies. These are energies that can be negative, obviously. Um, they can lead to negative thought patterns. They can lead to negative action. They can lead to dis-ease, whether that be physical, mental, emotional, whatever the case may be. These soul core woundings are basically what you and your father and mother have come here to earth to heal, to clear, to work on. So that's what that little section is. And then you'll also see what you can do to help refocus those core soul woundings. And what I mean is if you suffer from an inability to express your emotions or if your mother or father did, well, a way to honor that core soul wounding is to express your emotions and to allow for those feelings to be heard and seen rather than stuffing them down or taking out your frustrations on somebody else or not expressing however it is that you feel in the moment something happens. So in the case of your mother and father, if that was one of their core soul woundings, you want to be able to honor that for them, to continue the healing legacy for them and for you. By healing your father's and mother's lines, you're also healing yourself and future generations. Now, if your mother and father are still alive, you can still do this. If they are not alive, you can still do this. Honestly, it doesn't matter. The energy is still there either way. Um, another example would be perhaps that, um, gosh, who is it? Um, one of them is a, okay, it is, yeah. One of them has deep inner child trauma. So a way to honor that deep sore that, that I just tried to, to combine soul and core, that deep core wounding, one way to honor that is to really honor inner child work for yourself. What does that mean? That means loving your inner child, letting your joy come out, blowing bubbles, playing on the sidewalk with chalk. Um, I live in a neighborhood where we have uh, long driveways and sidewalks. So I try sometimes to draw like a little hopscotch on the sidewalk for people who are on their walks to do. And there are a couple of people who also do the same thing in the neighborhood. It's just a fun little way to get your inner child expressed and up and out and happy and shining. Now, it's not always that easy. Inner child work is a huge task to take on, but it truly is one of the deepest healings that we can do. But that's one quick example for this video on how you can, of course, honor that soul wounding either for yourself or for your family. Now, remember, I've already said this, but this is very important. What you are doing when you're honoring these core soul woundings, when you're choosing to honor them, you are healing yourself, your past family members, and your future family members. It's linear healing, okay? And each specific person's section, there's also an affirmation that goes along with each person. That affirmation is used in however, whatever ways you want to use it. You can repeat these affirmations. You can write them on your bathroom mirror. You can write them on your phone. You can write them all over you, wherever you want. You can do a mantra meditation with them where you repeat it 108 times, whatever it is that you want to do with those affirmations. Those affirmations are designed to directly help heal the core soul woundings. Okay. Um, let me know if you have any other questions. I think that's about covered it. And I appreciate you trusting me in this journey of healing.